Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. This week I'm going to be working on my rigid shop vac. If you have one of these, you understand how valuable they are. You can uh, Not only can you uh, vacuum up debris, but you can also uh, pick up water with them. Well, last week I was using it and the switch snapped right off in my hand. So rather than buying another one, even though this is 19 years old, I decided to get online. Sure enough, you can buy replacement parts for this. So I ordered one, I got it in the mail, and I'm ready to put it in. The problem is, is uh, I got looking at the underneath of this, and a lot of the screws, being 19 years old, uh, kind of rusted and corroded. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to come apart. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, so first thing we want to do is let's get this hose out of our way. We're not going to need that. And then we can get rid of the tub itself. Get that out of the way. Now we can kind of concentrate on the unit itself. And again, this is pretty corroded. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Two of them I can already see that are real rusty. Uh, so what I think I might do is try to clean those a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of tunk on those a little bit with a hammer to try to loosen those up. With All right, right so what I think I'll do is just try to clean some of that crud out of there as much as possible just with a Phillip screwdriver here and it seems like I can get a pretty good bite on them yep they seem to fit pretty good in there you're definitely going to want to use a good quality screwdriver on this I can see that and I'm using a uh, I'm using Craftsman tools so they use the uh, pretty better quality than the cheaper screwdrivers. All right, this seems like the worst one. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to tunk that ever so slightly. It is plastic, so I'm just worried about the where it's so rusty that I'm going to strip them out. So I just kind of want to try to release it just a little bit. Just an idea. This usually works good on mechanics. So. Ooh. Here we go. I'm just going to kind of take my time with this. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty rusty at the top there. All right, let's go ahead and try to remove the rest of them. Let's get our tools out of the way, and I still need a regular screwdriver. And I got all the screws out. Let's see if I can pop that out. I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. Well, <laughs> looks like we've got possibly some more screws. Okay, this one is just completely gone, the head of it, so I think what I'm going to try to do is drill that one out. Okay, so my goal is to just drill the head off, uh, head off a little bit. That way when I pull this off, I can still get in there with a pair of pliers and pull the old screw out. So you can see what I've got right here to deal with and uh, I'm going to try to put a, put a pair of pliers on that, spin that out, that way you can put a new screw in I can just put a washer on there. Alright, so let's get on to the, uh, to the project of why we were starting this. Alright, so we have, alright, what we have here, all we got to do is unplug these two connections, this one. This one, like that, and then there's two clips 
on this switch I can see all we have to do is kind of push on those in like that push like that and that switch after 19 years <laughs> should pop right out of there just like that Whew, there it is so now we just need to put the new switch back in but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this little mess here out All right, now let's get our switch. Go part number 73180, and uh, I'll put that in the description. All right, and there's our new switch. Surprise, as little as that is, and that it had lasted for 19 years. So, all right, let's go ahead and pop that in, and slide that down in there. There it is. Done. All right, now let's just go ahead and hook it all back up. Just plug them in, just like we took it out. One goes there. The other one goes just like that. Right. Let's put it back together. Now, to obtain the switch, you're going to need to go to uh, storerigid.com. This is where I had found it. Uh, you may be able to find it someplace else, but this is the only place I had found it. So go down to, let's see what it was. How did I find that again? Go down to store parts, uh, browse for parts, and wet dry vacuums. Um, if you've got the model number, it may help as well. I tried entering in the model number. I didn't have much luck, but I did need the model number later on, and I'll show you why. You want to scroll down to see what uh, general purpose wet dry vacs. Click on that, and then you're going to scroll down. Mine is the 12 gallon. It's a six gallon, eight gallon, and nine gallon, 12 gallon. So you click on that, and then you scroll down a little bit. You see right here it has uh, the catalog sheet and the operation manual for this model number here. Probably not a whole lot of difference, but we want to make sure we get the right switch. If you scroll down, you'll see. Uh, right here WD 12450 and that's my model number so you go ahead and you click on that and that's going to show you all the available parts for that machine and there we go the toggle switch right at the top so you get the toggle switch the pan head screws the collector assembly you saw me trying to get that all off there uh, even the screws I saw some screws so you can pretty much uh, rebuild this entire unit uh, right from this website the hose um, I don't know about the motor. I haven't seen the motor. Uh, I'm not seeing that, so maybe everything but. But uh, but that's basically all you got to do is just go over to this website right here. Now you may be able to find this elsewhere, but uh, this seemed to be the only place I could find it. Now if you put enough time in there, you might be able to find it someplace else. So just so again, it's a rigid store. It's a storerigid.com. All right, let's get back to uh, the reassemble. So now we have to kind of deal with this problem down here, and I'm not going to waste my time with that. Uh, I'm basically just going to find another screw, put it down in there with a small washer. As far as the rest of them, all we got to do is put this all back together. So stay tuned, and we'll go from there. Now this little problem I had before, what I've done is I've got a longer, a longer screw, and I've got a washer, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and put that one in and replace that little problem. And that should take care of that. Yeah. Easy enough. All right. Now let's go ahead and put the rest of these all in. Okay, that's a good thing to know. This will only go back on one way. So, I guess what I probably should have done, I should have marked that before I took that off.
go ahead and uh, plug it in. Let's see, make sure it's off. Kind of a dusty job, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and hook up our hose and clean up our mess. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, there it is. Our brand new switch right there, all installed. I mean, I probably could have adapted something else, a toggle switch off of the side. There's quite a bit of room up there, uh, but it didn't really cost much, and I'll put the description on where I got it and how much it was in the, uh, in the comments below. So, well, that's how you replace a switch on a 19-year-old rigid shop vac. And again, you can replace just about anything on this. I was quite surprised. Well, I hope that helps, and uh, thanks enough for watching.